Hi, hello. I'm manifesting. If we get to go into the Underdark and go to any of the drow cities like Menzo Branson or Chenisad, I'm going to lose my mind. There, there's so much cool stuff about it though too. Like they have this big like tower that works as like a clock of sorts. It's called Narbondel. And the way they track the time is as heat passes through this one large stalagmite. And that's how they, they like look at it. And it's like what you and I would consider a clock tower. They can tell the heat signature on it because they see heat. They see an infrared, I guess is what you call that. And that tells the time. Isn't that cool? I've read a lot of Ari Salvatore's books but the first few are kind of my favorite anyways, the ones where you're still in Menzo Baranzen, kind of fleshing out drow society, the way the culture works. It's so good. It's so good. Highly recommend. Oh, that's right, we're in the dank crypt. I'm so excited. That's right, we met not Lich last time. He was really chill for a lich. I've met some chill liches. Um, there's a lich in Curse of Strahd. I don't want to talk too much about him because I want people who are interested in the module to still be able to play it. But he can be chill. He can be. He was chill for us. My friends! Give them each a sweet smooch on the forehead if they want. Hi! I was just talking about you. These chambers are much changed. He's very observant. Did we go over here yet? I don't think so. So we also had a... <gasps> Bruh, did you go through the door I was supposed to go to? <gasps> you are spoiling shit, Withers. That's incredibly rude, my guy. Be better. Can you imagine? Oh, am I accidentally playing Shadowheart? My bad, babe. Interesting. These boots have seen everything. All right. So we're in an old. Oh, I I kind of don't want to touch the sarcophagus. I'm worried. Let's light all the candles Delicious. first. Was it? Looks like someone wanted to bury their secrets. Jurgle was the deity some facet of death? Oh, this is locked. This book <gasps> is far lighter than it should be with such a massive lock. Oh. <gasps> we can channel a spark of divine power into it? Look at this man. Whoever is like mapping out where characters need to stand when we're in these cutscenes knows. They know. I'm like, hi, hello. Can I please look at a Asterion as much as humanly possible? And they're like, girl, I got you. Look at him. He's always, like, right here. Bless. Well, I mean, cleric wisdom shit sounds like exactly what we need to do. Let's channel a spark of divine power into the lock. All right, baby, let's go. Already passed. Yes. I didn't even know you could open locks like this. I'm, I think the problem is like after people play this game and people who haven't been in D&D &D before or even people who have are going to get into this and this is going to give them fuel for how to get around encounters in D&D. &D. The next time this happens and I'm playing anyone remotely like religion oriented, like you paladin cleric, I'm going to be like, I channel divine power into that lock. And Merlin's like, that's not how you can open that lock. And I was like, Baldur's Gate 3 lets me. <laughs> you know? <laughs> As the lock opens, a loose page comes with it. Magic pulses from the parchment. Look how cool. What was once script is now an obliterated scrawl. You have a sense these are names, a list, but of what? 
Well, I mean, it did say Book of the Dead. I'm pretty sure when we picked it up. So that does give us some context clues here. <laughs> All right, let's examine this a little bit more closely. Let's do it. We got this. Amazing. Gods. These are the names of gods. Once lost, but now restored after the second sundering. The last three names in this book sit close together, but are so devastated by the scroll as to be unreadable. Entire pantheons have dwindled and been reborn, silently recorded by this book. All right, okay, so are we, are they factoring in fourth edition? Fourth edition is kind of poorly regarded. There was a lot of stuff actually retconned because fourth edition was so bunk. You know, probably we were talking about Ari Salvatore who writes the Dritz novels. He literally came in to Watsi, uh, Wizards of the Coast and like thwopped a big stack of pamphlets on their table and said, look, here's all the shit you need to fix this. I've already done it for you. Here it is, just implement it. That's how bad they had bought shit in fourth edition. So uh, TLDR, just to give you a, um, a general notion of what fourth really botched, um, they just like murdered a lot of deities, which is why this book is what it is. It's keeping track of like all of the bullshit deity murdering that went on and then it being fixed. So the rebirth. So it's so cool. Can we take this with us? The name of dead gods, most of them unfamiliar and unpronounceable, fill the pages of this ancient tome. Several entries on the last page have been stricken through. The final three thoroughly enough to be completely illegible. I'm really interested to know, like, if this plays into any of, like, recent 5e lore, and how so, you know? Yeah, I wanna take this book. I wanna put it in my bag. Thank you. As we go and do a little bit more grave robbing. I can't reach that one. Well, we can't light all our candles. But I can loot the chest. An onyx ring. Oh, I feel like you could, cause they do say beautiful but dangerous because it's sharpened. So Alorinel, my half-drow arcane trickster, has a ring on her thumb and it has a slight edge and um, tapered section to one of it. And the inside of that taper is sharpened so that she can like cut through ropes or, you know, kind of cut whatever you want. It's not like a knife, like you couldn't really like hurt someone with it other than give them like a long, thin laceration. It's not super deep. But that's what this is reminding me of. You know, just rogue things. Just rogue things. Should we rob this grave? <laughs> I'm like, y'all are so sweet. Let's grave rob. <laughs> you know I'm not a big fan of it normally. I am going to light all these candles, though. Cal over here, sower of chaos. They're dead. They don't need it. Wow, everyone's like, rob those graves. <laughs> All right. Look. Don't fuck me, sarcophagus. Uh, uh, what? A soul coin? Strange, incomprehensible whispers emanate from this coin, pervading your mind with rage and despair. These coins can power infernal engines? Whoa, that buddy is expensive. Okay, we got a morning star. I also do really appreciate D&D because D&D taught me a lot about different kinds of weaponry. And then a skull. A strange coin. I wonder what it's worth. Exactly 100 gold, baby. All right, can I bebop around in here at all? Is there places for me to jump? 
I'm not seeing much. I, I gotta look. I gotta peep. I'm going to be so thorough, I'm gonna try to be, about this. Because if there are secrets, I want them. <gasps> oh! <laughs> the secret is death. The secret is death. All right. I, well, I'm good. <laughs> All right. So, we've come full circle. Withers spoiled this room for us. I spoiled death for Xavier. We've got this door, I believe. Because we came in through here. I just want to make sure. This is all blackness. We came in, said hello to this man. Did not give him a smooch on the forehead. I'm all right. Can't go visit death. So this is where we go. We should probably save. I need to be much better about saving. Okay. Locked. Darling, do you mind? Symbol. Oh, I just love him. Give that man a bonus. We got it. We got it. This man never misses. Love you, Asterion. What to do? ready this place wasn't built for the living no that's because it's a crypt oh i missed some pots oh let's light everything <laughs> yeah i'll give him a bonus all right <laughs> all right i know all these vases are empty but i have to check them anyways what if the rng is just super low okay oh there's a door here here goes nothing. Is there a door? I don't think there was, no. But I think there was a chest. Of, oh, actually, there's lots of chests. See? Now that we lit up everything, we can see. And, you know, the candelabras are very pretty. Gold, I'll take it. Chalice. A smooth chalice fabricated by gnome artisans. And then I think we have a cup already. Okay. Um, we have candle over here and another chest. All the like skittering and all the sighing of the wind. <gasps> wow, three scrolls? Hey, handy. And if not handy, sellable okay oh this is why you do that there's a book right there that I couldn't see an excerpt from the ongoing metatext rebound by Josefa Elgin a scholar excommunicated from the church of Denier for her heretical beliefs to reconstruct the metatext her god's annal of lost and hidden knowledge of what value is a life? Far too esoteric a topic to want any serious critical consideration between these pages. Surely, or so it would seem at first glance. But once we push aside the mysticism and dewy-eyed sentiments so often clouding our assessment, it is clear that across all the spinning planes, each and every life does indeed have a quantifiable value. It is simply that not all are equally valuable. Consider, we already know that the destruction of our material form is not the end. If anything, our souls are more free after death, transcending planar barriers in search of a resting place that best befits our deeds, beliefs, and station in life. But even this assessment is subject to market forces. Lord Kelimvor weighing our souls against how thoroughly we have given them over to the gods empowering them in turn. There is, of course, an alternate route. Not the end of the path, but the chance to retread it. 
Clerics across the realms wield the power to return life to any soul deemed worthy or willing enough. It is strange, then, that these so frequently intersect with those deemed wealthy enough. But the components for such a spell are beyond the means of most mortals. I have interviewed those who have made such a return, and, in truth, have found them to be of the most dull and unimaginable sort, and I possibly cannot imagine what it is they were so eager to return to. If a true assessment of the journey is to be made, then there is simply no replacement for embarking upon it oneself. Perhaps, one day, this great volume of learning will make me worthy enough to walk that path, and wealthy enough to return. I love, I love these little bits of lore! Oh my goodness. That does have some bearing on kind of the question that Withers was asking, doesn't it? Very interesting. Okay, let's, can we go in this room? It's not locked. Refectory. Okay. I like that you can peek over here and get that pretty foliage. Time to light candles. I like how it's candles of received condition burning. <laughs> Is this the group that we talked to upstairs? Very sus. Oh, you know what we should do? Should save again. Well, oh, that really fucking sucked. And now it's locked. Excuse the fuck out of me. Okay, so how do we, what, what it, what if we just be like, Bye. You can't throw a bomb at me and then shut and lock the door. <laughs> what the fuck? But I don't want I don't want baby girl to get in the fire. Okay. So, I'm going to try I'm going to try to leave. So, I'm going to get everyone out of the fire first. Cuz like how are you going to get to me? You shut the door. Are you just, hello? Are you attacking the door? I think the answer to that question is yes. Okay, well, babe, we need to get out of the fire. Let's do that first. My feet can carry me. Now, I think, yeah. Can we put out, you can't target yourself to put out burning? Okay, well then let's, not enough movement? I know, I know, babes, I know. So here, come out of the fire. Could you help her put her out? There we go. And then she, in turn, will put you out. And can you like make sure you're not in the fire? Okay, now we end the turn. I don't like this. What are you doing? It sounds like somebody's got the door handle and they're just rattling it incessantly and the hair on my arms is standing up 
I hate it. Stop. Stop! This isn't Dead Space! Oh my god! Can I leave, please? <laughs> please! <gasps> Asteria, let's go, baby, let's go. Can we leave? Get me out! <laughs> Baby, please, can we go? Oh my god. It was terrifying! Baby, let's get out of here. Initiative negative 100? Shh, 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 we're fine. Gail, honey, let's go. Get out. We're leaving. All right. Wow, I did not like that. Okay, so I'm not going down there. Need to keep going. God, that was so wild. Oh, is the group Can't not together? There we go. With haste. Ooh, that was a nightmare, actually. So yeah, we would all benefit from a bit of a short rest, wouldn't we? <sighs> That hit the spot. I'm sure it did, babe. We'll go through the big doors. Fuck that direction. Okay, we are going to have to be very careful. Watch how you go. There's a trap. Maybe I should split them up. I'm just going to be very delicate. So I don't, can we, oh no. There are things to loot. Oh, I can only take it. Okay, let's do this methodically. My favorite way. Step carefully. There's a trap. Okay, so let's go this way. Be what do you mean perception fails? This place is trapped. No, pick it up. I failed a perception roll. That makes me so nervous. Oh, there's one right there. Okay, is there another pot? <sighs> Slow and steady. <sighs> I'm ready for another one. Babe, please. I'm... Oh, no. Watch how you go. There's a trap. I figured. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna have to trade her out for somebody who can roll perception again. <laughs> Assyrian darling, let's go on a, a close. bit of a walk. Watch your back. God, he's so dreamy. Be careful. There are traps about. Can you disarm this, honey? No, we don't have the kit. Okay, so there was one over here we failed, I think. Traps. How considerate. There's a... You want to grab this face for me, honey? Thank you. Okay, so, I know there's one here. Okay, so let's take uh, Shadow Heart over. 
What am I to do? No time for Danny. What? Gail, your final hope. Elminster's not around, so it might as well. The Elminster drop! Oh my god. Ugh. I love, I love. Adventure awaits. Okay, babe, roll. Well. I know logically where it should be. Can I just put a pot there anyways? Like, if I'm failing a perception roll, and I see that this is structured this way, and this is structured this way, I know I need to put a pot here. Oh my goodness. And then I guess stay on the other side of the room. Can we get this vase? Yes. Just like how you have to hop it over. All right, so should be maybe right here. Okay, so this is clearly trapped. I don't have any means by which to uh, not get fucked. Okay, you get out of here. God, are we gonna have to fucking go back in that terrible room? My con is a little on the low side. But I'm hoping to just grab and then run. That's the plan. Shadowheart, make sure you're out of the oh, way. Watch your back. Darling, Shall go we? here. Never a dull moment. All right. Are we ready? We're gonna do it. We're gonna try it. Touch it with our little bitty fingies. And then we're gonna fuck off. Oh wait, we should loot all the little stuff before we do okay. that. Pile of bones. We're just touching the pile of bones. We're not touching sarcophagus. Don't get mad. And this way I don't have to worry about other things getting fucked with. Okay, now. There are boxes. Of course these aren't valuable or have anything in them. I'm not gonna fuck with the pots because I don't think the pots have anything. Be wary. This place is trapped. Yeah, I see that. Can I open this sarcophagus though? Or am I gonna get mega fucked? Oh, oh a parried up ring. Considered sacred by some gnomes and halflings. That's cute. The gem in this ring sparkles brilliantly. Got some, oh my shit, some ring mail. Disadvantage on stealth checks because it's heavy armor, yeah. And then skull and bone. All right, cool. So let's go and do that on the other side. See, I'm, I'm looting all the sarcophagus, y'all. Step carefully. Chaos Guess goblins placated. Watch how you go. Rapier, nice. That's what I've got. Oh, another one of these weird coins and a battle axe. All right. So. Oh, this is going to suck. Just going to run like fuck. Okay. So. Oh. Be cautious. Open it, hurry. Ooh, cool. Cowl, I love that, thanks. Time to go, see you later! Well, is that, is that as much? Okay, that's fine. Keep your distance, darling. You have my attention. The faces worked! Why do I have shadow heart? Is that blood? No, never mind. Have to keep going. Nice, 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 nice. That was a grab and go, wasn't it? All right, we did that successfully. So 
But because I have made sure that we can't get out that way, <laughs> we got to go back to the spooky place. Let's save again. All right. Well, at least there's not fire anymore, but the door's open. This is some weird ass shit. Look at these. Ooh, look. Oh, somebody's got cake. Oh, it's cheese. <laughs> okay. One, two, three, five. Asterion, my love. The cake was a lie. It was cheese. Could be cheesecake. <laughs> Please don't get this group started on cheesecake. <laughs> oh, that's right. I have spells now. Let's find out. Jeez. How nice they opened the door. Okay, I'm gonna stay in here because they have to move to come to us. Okay, you can hang out there, baby. Don't throw shit at me though, please. Hey, they're really kind of- <gasps> Hey, hey! Hey! Okay, um... So what is this? Is this a 10? I cannot take him out fully, but... Oh, we've got so many spells. I think this will be okay. Right? We should just close the door now. <laughs> That's what we should do. Each one runs in. We'll have a Asterion stand, like, right behind it. Yank the door shut behind him. Lock it real quick. Deal with a guy. And then open it. Let one through. Rinse, repeat. Okay, so. Gale has a really low AC, but I'm not super worried about him quite yet. We're all doing really great on HP. So, let's finish this person off. Minimum two damage. Oh, so we could, oh, 45. It's fine, I got cantrips, baby. I guess you could flame. Deck save, 40%. Is his AC high? We have, that's a bonus action too. Okay. Let's try that, let's try that. I'm considering meleeing, giving him a, a poke, giving him a pierce, and then a flourish. How does that sound? Because we're not having much luck with spells right now. So, when you can't spell, well, <laughs> well you can't cast. Let's, I, I'm interested, let's see how this goes. Here we go again. <laughs> Bonus action, bitch. I think I did subdual damage too. Like I didn't kill him, he's just knocked out. Yeah, he's got one. That was a dramatic echo. Okay. Oy! Don't touch my drow. Yo, if I can get an AOE spell going. Leave my boyfriend alone. Lady, how do I not get an opportunity attack on your ass? Do you have an AOE? <laughs> when do I get fireball? <laughs> Magic missile. They always hit. Yo, thunder wave. I don't know how big the cone is, like, in this visual. So let's just look at it. Oh, son of a bitch, that's so cool. Look, I can cast it at a higher spell slot! Oh my god. Sorry, I'm just D&D &D geeking out. Just ignore me. Dang. I don't play like a traditional wizard. I have a blade singer, so I don't like have a lot of the upper level spells. I also don't think we got very far. So I have a baby blade singer. Just a wee, a wee little thing. Okay, how much HP do you have? You have five left? I could very well. Black oh, that was not as much damage as I wanted. That's okay. You, you did your best. You did your best, Gal, and that's all I can ask of you. I definitely don't want to be tanking, though. 
darling. This would be perfectly suited to you. Can we do how many points? You have three? Let's try an offhand first. <laughs> That's what I thought. And now we'll have our normal attack. I want to try 80%. Okay, yeah, let's do this. Nice. Great job, babe. Loved it. Nice dodge. All right, Shadowheart. 65. Do they have some resistance or something? Because my uh, spells aren't looking so hot. 45? All right, this is fine. <gasps> Shadowheart, baby, honey, sweetheart. Okay, you do need to be up more to the front, though, because, well, I guess she and I have the same AC. This is fine. And this gives her line of sight. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, sure. Ensnare him. He's just a caster. He's hanging out. <laughs> now do I have line of sight anymore, though? No. Are they trying to get me to come out? Wait. Wait. Should I do it? I kind of really want to. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Okay, babe. Fire away. You picked the wrong fight, friend. Ha ha ha! All right, now let's, uh, you are... You've got a decent AC, but I still don't. Wait, did I, wait, they're dead. Oh, well. All right. Okay, uh, I'm gonna end my turn. With the weave. Gail, love, could you come up here for me? I don't think you can make it. Can you? Let's get him in his max movement and see if that's helpful. Indeed. Okay, right there. Can you cast anything? No, he can't see past the door jam. Guess you don't get to do anything on your turn, Gail. That's fine. Darling. Can you come here? You can't reach it because Gail's in the way. Yeah, why did you stop in the doorway? <laughs> because I left him there. Well, I, I guess you end your turn. Hi. Wait, what? Reactions once per round, a character can react to another action. Manager available reactions is the reactions tab. Mari's about to damage Hysterion. How dare you? Uh, choose how to react. Missile snaring? Reduced damage from your ranged weapon. Or do not react. No, why not? I took zero damage! Wow. Fucking cool. Alright. Shadowheart, can you... Can you shoot from all the way back there? No. Target outside normal range. But you can step forward a little bit. I yeah. Keep going. Can you do it? Yes, that's much better. Or you can miss, that's also fine. That's fine, it's okay. Nothing will stand in my way. Leave it to me. 40%, I'm upset. That's fine. So she's a 10, so I can't possibly kill her in one go if I use my bow. I don't wanna use a spell slot because it's just really unnecessary. This could do the trick. If I get max on everything, it could do the trick. Let's try it. Blood follows me everywhere. Ah, oh, she saved so half damage. Fuck. All right, Gale. <laughs> Unleash me. Oh. Oh <laughs> well. <gasps> Can you come like over here, maybe? Can we? No, it's an actual slot. 
I'm using actual slot. We did it! <laughs> I know, the way he said unleash me, I was like, oh, that's for camp, honey. Really, not in the ruins, not in the ruins. Oh, right, the fires died out. Look at us go, look at us go. Okay, so... What's inside? This man... I'm exhausted. Better find somewhere to camp soon. That other man is unconscious. Can I wake him up? Can I question him? Okay, scroll of burning hands. Classic. Burning hands is classic. Oh, I should read it. Oh, it doesn't have flavor text. <laughs> Got it. Robe, quarterstaff. Journey through the jungle. The adventures of one Baron Von Baron and his goblin god, Jaw, as they brave the thick jungles of Chalt. I did never finish that module. What is it? Tomb of Annihilation? But Chult's kind of badass, you know? We, uh, I think we only got to the Firefinger, for those of you who have played and know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna loot you. Short sword, torch, leather armor. I got another key! Held by a bandit guarding the entrance of the Cliffside Chapel. Okay. I can speak with the dead. It's a ritual cast, so it's not going to use a spell slot either, if I remember correctly. Oh, what? Drow poison? Coat your active weapon. I've never sounded so excited about poison in my life. <laughs> Coat your active weapon with poison. Targets must succeed a con saving throw, become poison, fall asleep. Many drow cultivate poisons with religious fervor. Yes, after all, Lolth. Their dread arachnid goddess is pleased only by the deadliest of concoctions. Yes! Cool! It's stuff from home. We got a short bow, torch, more leather armor, and some gold. Great club. Javelin. Boots. Gloves. Dagger, short bow, leather armor. Inco no! It's happened already. <laughs> oh, look, I'm so <laughs> Oh, we've got more thieves tools. Lovely. Dagger, short bow. Yes, let's go. Okay, hold on. Let me give my friends some stuff. You, like, waddle over with all your loot, and you're like, Hi, please, can you help me? <laughs> The sun had just fallen below the horizon when I first heard its call. A thousand reed pipes at once, whistling a single, beautiful, terrible song. Ulothalang, said Ja. It's coming. Ja dropped her pack and scurried up the nearest spider. With a bit more effort, I climbed a tree of my own, and the two of us surveyed the grassy ground beneath. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> it's the cutest puppy hell. There it was again, above and beneath and all around, so close my skull vibrated from the sound. The ferns and foliage under me rippled and swayed. Ja held a finger to her lips to demand my silence. And in one motion, it snatched her. A vine? A, a tentacle? It hardly mattered. The hunter had found its prey. Ja's screams swelled and then faded as Ulu Thalong dragged her away. I leapt down to give chase, but the creature left no mark behind. The grasses were untrampled, the shrubs unbroken. I had only the memory of that harrowing call to guide me. This place has been spooky, honestly. Okay, we got everything. Oh, some thieves tools that I didn't see. Swift as my feet can carry me. I'm like keeping my eye out for perception stuff now. Like the rolls. Book of Final Breath. Here we go. Dense rows of scrawled text. The few legible entries seem to detail the names and final words of numerous individuals. Come see this, it's Maj Penner, Laboratory Explosion. Roth Crest, waylaid in a never winter alley. 
You're blocking my light. Donna Ree, Martyrhavian, Featherlung. Oof. That's chilly. So we'll pick it up. Okay, so we've got that lit. There's a smaller one over here. I'm not even gonna bother with the vases and stuff anymore. There's a lever, but I'm not done here yet. So there's this door. The library. Okay. Oh, many books. The Unclaimed, the sturdily bound story of the cleric of Shar, whose soul was never claimed from the City of Judgment. The Mortal View, eyewitness accounts of the Ball Spawn Crisis. This mass-produced book has a cheap imitation of balls, symbols stamped on the cover. Ball, not once, not ever. The Curse of the Vampire! An ancient text written on dry, cracking paper. Its cover is inscribed with every holy symbol you've ever seen, and some you haven't. So, Ball is an evil deity. He's yeah. bad. We had so many books. Death and Divinity? A godly guide? Is this a divinity reference? The spine of this heavy black book is inked with a chain of silver skulls. And then another ball thing. Let's light all of these so we can see better. We're gonna have so many. We have a copy of this, but we're still gonna take it. We've got that one, because we can sell these. They're pretty decent. I'm still, like, really thrown by how much gold we get. Like, because in D&D, in &D, like, this is a lot of gold. Chapel records. We'll get that in a second. Oh. That might be worth a look. Spooky lever. Wow, there's so many levers. We'll get back to you. I gotta light everything up. More chest. Oh, candles! Oh my god, we're gonna set those around our house. It is wild to me that they look like they have this enormous library and it's really just the same four books over and over again. Yep, here we go. <laughs> Maybe they just really like these, or maybe they're the authors in some way and they just have extras. These are the signed copies, the first editions, you know? We'll read them in a little bit, because we just read a few. Okay, ooh, yeah, read the plaque. Oh, and I forgot that brazier. You do not recognize the language on the plaque. <sighs> When do we get comprehend languages? When is that an option? Or is that an option? Okay, so um, let's put this in our bag. All right. That should be everything in here. So, uh, crunk. Let's pull that lever. You ready? Secret passage. What did that do? That didn't sound great. But what did it do? Oh, we've got to light this one. It's just so much prettier with the fire going on. Ooh. Well, maybe we watch our steps. It definitely is a spoopy noise lever. 
No, there was a lever there. Did we go in this room? We have not? We haven't been through that door. Okay. So what? Did you guys just Okay, they ran through the rubble and jostled it around. I was like, huh, what's happening? Do we pull this lever now? Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Okay. That's fine. Everything's fine. I'm keeping an eye out. Oh, so this is a looter's trunk. So they came in and like put their big trunk down and they just like throw all their shit in it while they were moving around. That makes sense. There's a plate and a glass chalice, gold cuppy. Water Davian cheese. Thank you. Yeah, let me peep this table. <gasps> Wait, a supply a pack. Bag of holding. <gasps> I love it. Carrot of wine. Oh, look at those sausages. Look at that big old wheel of cheese. Alistair would love it. We want water. Oh, I thought it was on that side of the table, my bad. A bottle. I don't want all the little things. I'm hoping that, oh, a cutting board. <laughs> cheese. Look how good this shit looks even up close, y'all. Look, 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 look. It's so good. Portrait of, <gasps> it's a portrait of Fane, holy shit. What the hell? Okay, so for those of you who are like, Emma, why are you screaming? Um, Fane is one of the origin characters in Divinity Original Sin 2. I love that. Bowl and a plate. I want the water. So I feel like we'll need the water. I don't need the bowl though. Um, do we need this? Sure. The loot goblin in me says yes. Treat yourself. Look how cool. Make sure I'm not missing shit. Look at that little cauldron. He's so cute. Milk! Wait, does it have milk in it though, or is it just a can? Hold on, we gotta check. This is important business. Smells a bit sour. Oh, I don't want it. Gross. I just throw it on the ground. <laughs> Okay. Making sure we get everything. They just have so many cutting boards. More of the same books. That's fine. We figured it out. They're the ones writing them. We're gonna have so many books on ball. Ancient, indecipherable text covers the plaque. A dead tongue. Whoever worshipped here must be long gone. Well, I mean, Withers is still here. All right, man, so many cutting boards. What, Nucky? Got some kitten crunch ASMR. What a good boy. Okay. All right. Oh, hey, there's a door up here. Got the key. Wait, I gotta touch every one of these now. Okay, turn it back on, please. What else? Okay, Asterion, darling, would you mind? I'll be a challenge. Here we go. Give this man some guidance. Never misses. Amazing. Because honestly, even when we run out of thieves tools, we still have so many modifiers for this man for this particular action. No one back home will ever believe this. 
<laughs> Hello? Oh! Okay, cool. Hold on. I think we got more to look at, though. We still have many keys. Where do my keys go? So that was a dead end. This is a dead end. We gotta go through this door. Seems simple enough. I feel bad, because I wish we could have, like, talked to these people, but it didn't seem like they wanted to talk at all. <gasps> oh, beds and stuff. Time to press ahead. What is all this? These pilot books. A shabby wardrobe. Oh, rags. Scruffy vagabond clothes. Destitute clothes and more vagabond stuff. Cool. An entire aesthetic. Okay. What else? What's hiding here? More of the books. No books. And no books. Look at the meter. Still me, even after everything. Someone there? Mm, yes. Still nothing. He can see himself. Still alive. I don't know what progress. the lore is for vampires in in D and D. I know what it is for like VTM as far as mirrors go, but oh, they have a little a folding screen. Okay, is this all that's in here? What did that lever open? I need to know. I need to know. Two hours later. It opened the door from the other side. Oh. Nifty. I was hoping it had like let loose some creature that we got to deal with. Cool. All right. So this is the entrance. Yeah. All right. So popping down here and just leads us into the middle of it. We went and did the hatch entrance, which is over here somewhere, wherever it was. Okay. Sorry. I'm trying to make sure this, we're getting everything. Well, let's get the fuck out. Actually, let's go this way. So I tried to speak to the dead with the, like, people around Withers, but you can't speak to the dead once people are already, like, a reanimated corpse kind of thing. But, damage snare trap. Like, the people that we murdered who were looting, we could use it on them. Not much use anymore. Oh, I was hoping we could, like, salvage it or something. True, there are bodies on the beach. We could use it on them, but... Whoa, the dead mind flayer's a great idea. Let's try that. Dude, he's even right here. Perfect, perfect. I didn't even do that on purpose to take him over here. This is just happenstance. Shadowheart has it, I believe. To do. So let's do our cleric abilities. Actually, it's this one, isn't it? The corpse does not respond. Ah, what a rude. Oh, it's every long rest, but dang. Do you have to like consent to come back and talk? It was a great idea. It was a great idea. I don't know what the fine familiar looks like. It so, should be a ritual cat. Do you have loves waiting for you once this is all over? You know what? That is not the easiest of questions for me to answer. You mean just waiting? Like a lovesick puppy? Short-term amusements are much less hassle. Starion. Why is he so cute? Isn't Find Familiar a ritual cast? Lovely day, this. I mean, it doesn't have no. to be, but... 
No, it's a... No, it is ritual. I was right. How do I cast it as ritual? See, I want to cast it as a ritual. I don't want to use a spell slot. I don't want to use a spell slot. Let me cast it as a ritual. Oh, what a baby. What a sweet child. I love them. Now we have a cat friend. Amazing. Oh, yes. Looking ahead. Moving ahead. All right, we're going to take this road up here to the left. Oh. Okay, okay, so the camp's over there. Let's go this way. You know what I really miss about Baldur's Gate? The food. Freshest fish I've ever had. I don't care for fish. Red meat. <laughs> now, that's a different matter. Rare as can be. Dripping. Well, unless we find a cure, you won't have any teeth to chew it with soon enough. <sighs> Asterian, babe, you are not subtle. You're <laughs> violating the masquerade, you absolute butt. These tracks, goblins. What? I should have saved, I should have saved, I should have saved. Wait, is this... This is the passage. What is this? Okay, I, I don't I don't want to do this quite yet. I'm paranoid. Very paranoid. I know. <laughs> I am enjoying our walks together. Aren't you, Dan? Um, sure. In silence. Do you enjoy walks with me, Asterian? <laughs> My drowse is like... Okay, I definitely want to scout a little bit more before here, we start on like actual quest stuff. I don't even have all my companions yet. I would really like to grab all my companions first. A grease bottle. Nice. Very handy. Look at those beautiful butterflies. Now we did see the goblin tracks and I'm, I, th I think they're in there. It's because the goblins may be trying to attack that direction. Okay, and that's that. Okay, good. Let's me know a little bit more of where I am. That's not good. Because it's very important to me. Oh, we get whole ass Malachite. Parents slip these stones under their children's pillows toward of nightmares. Dang. So, a shield just out in the middle of nowhere oh look at the kitty what a baby oh what is this what is this how do we get up to this area there's gotta be oh oh a mind flayer pod is is there somebody down here maybe how do we get down there Can we jump? Not enough space. Can I jump down? Oh, I'm gonna lose HP. Okay, hold on. Let's find a better way down. <gasps> Hello? The absolute? Wait, isn't that the person the goblin was talking about? Uh, look, I just want to go down to check that pod. Mm, super fucking sus. People up ahead. On, Something's wrong. You're going to be all right. Hello? Stop it. You're scaring him. Seems like a good moment to talk. You're a true soul. You can't die. Please, stay with us. But 
I don't think he's conscious. C can you hear us, Ed? You, not a step closer. A strange symbol glows marked on their flesh, and something within you stirs in response. What? Illithid? Really drawing on whatever residual power we have with the tadpole? Question mark? He's wounded. I'd like to help if you will let me. He's hurt badly. An oil bear got him deep. If there's anything you can do. I'm watching you. The injured man locks eyes with you. A familiar squirming churns in your head. <laughs> what? Let's see where this goes. Let's hold his stare. Your minds intertwine. You see his siblings, Andrik and Brenna, new recruits, yours to shepherd. Protect them. She is a true soul. Mind her. She will. She. She. Edwin! Ed! Please! He's with the Absolute now. You're... You're a true soul. Edwin, our brother, he was chosen. Like you. Do you have orders for us? We were reporting to Edwin. <gasps> Excuse me? Why are you out here? The wilderness is dangerous. We know that all too well, man, but the Absolute sent us here. We're looking for fugitives, survivors from that ship that crashed farther west of here. Oh, look at Asterion. <laughs> He's so pretty. Explain this Absolute to me. What? Are you... are you testing us? The Absolute is our goddess. She's going to rip down the old world order, start uh. a new one. Then we'll be the ones with the power. Well, you will firstly, true soul. You don't need me to explain that. A true soul, like you, has been chosen by the Absolute. You speak with her voice, and when the time comes, the true souls, you, will rule. That fellow had a tadpole in his head, and they consider him blessed? Chosen? What madness is this? But we don't want to kill the owlbear. I definitely don't want to do that. These fugitives, uh, tell me more. We don't know what they look like, but anyone who survived that crash is bound to be injured. That's enough to get us started. The Absolute wants them found. At any cost. Forget the owlbear. You're still alive. So go. What? And, and just... Leave Ed? I suppose, I suppose he'd want us to go on, find a way to honor his sacrifice. May the absolute guide us. All right, lady. Sorry, dwarf dude. They spoke of the absolute, same as that goblin, Saza. Yep. Curious. Very. Sorry, Feels guy. Like a popular little deity, whoever they are. Hysterion. <laughs> Strange power resonates within the corpse. It calls to you. Oh. Your limbs move of their own accord. There's something of value here. Something your mind craves. Oh my Why shit. Why let its host's memories go to waste? The tadpole has absorbed it all. Its experience could nourish you. Strengthen you. Wow, excuse me? Absolutely not. We're going to force our mind shut. We will not be influenced by an illithid parasite. Elastrae guide us.
your muscles loosen. The tadpole breaks free of its deceased host. Oh, oh. Your mind is your own again. For now. Oh my god, did you see it? Holy shit. Oh my god, he had so much food. I mean, he's a dwarf. This doesn't surprise me at all. Pork sausage and cheese. Broken spear. Will encumber me. No, don't. <laughs> sausage bottle. Salami. Okay, so... The glow means that we can do... Speak to the dead. So cool. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Oh, I really don't like that. We won't speak for Shadowheart. Adorn. A true soul, a chosen. Who chose you? The absolute, the almighty goddess. What can you tell me about the absolute? Do not. Fight her! Power! Such power! What were you doing here? Looking for her weapon, the absolute. What do you know about this weapon? Crashed from the sky, taken by infidels. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. I thought there was a limit, but we got some good questions in. Thanks, Shadowheart. All right, what now? All right, let's grab that rogue's morsel. I do. Oh, I forgot this mugwort, too. I need that. She's walking because she's in comrade, and here I am grabbing more stuff. Oh, I didn't get the rogue's morsel. That was really neat. Five questions, that's what I thought. Wonder if the gods are watching me. We did get some really good questions in, though. So. Five well spent. Sweet. With speed? Oh, that was a... Oh, boots? More wisp weed. Oh, no! No, that's... No. That mug is cursed. I do not want it. Okay. Let's try to explore everything on this side of the river before we cross. Because this may just end up being... The pod of that guy. Edwin? I'm trying to take us around the mud. Yeah, it's definitely busted up. An empty mind flare vessel. If its occupant survived, then nowhere to be seen. Interesting. Oh, it was a kitty. Kitty scared me. 
Can I pick that shield up? I am just... My poor pockets are so full. I'm picking up everything. A sweetheart, perhaps? Not one in particular. The city is a veritable feast of sweethearts. You must be eager to get back, then. Slimmer pickings out in this wilderness. He's so dreamy. All right. How? I mean... Uh, I want to get up here. I don't know how. Usually there's like some... path or the vines that we saw the ones you can climb I don't see anything okay I guess we have the other side to do oh look at this cool swampy area they can't really get a good peep at maybe we come in from that side camera's getting upset with me because I'm trying to peek in places that it's not fond of. Wait, wait, wait. There's a little path over here. Wait. Oh. Ah, uh, that's probably Owlbear Cave because that guy was over here, right? I hope that each and every one of you have a wonderful rest of your day or night whatever time it is wherever you are and i will see you next time man we've really been having to wait out credits lately because y'all are just the sweetest thank you so much for that by the way it's so heartwarming to be able to play this game go on this adventure explore all this wonderful content with y'all thank you and i will see you later Thanks for watching! For more content, you can check out these videos, or my stream on Twitch, or my reaction content on TikTok. All the links are in the description. Have a great rest of your day.